Okay guys, today we're gonna to create a multi-step form instead of Webflow without using any code. So we're gonna be building this form here and essentially I'm just doing an onboarding form and we can go ahead and do this and hit next, uh, test that, do project budgets. And so we're gonna be working on building this multi-step form and this can get more advanced with logic and everything. But uh, for now, we're gonna be doing a simple form here to show you how we can do it inside of Webflow without using code. And we're gonna be using something called uh, Formly. And uh, now these guys built this using uh, attributes uh, similar to what you might use with FinSuite attributes. So pretty familiar for use of FinSuite. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is head to, uh, essentially, we're gonna go to Formly formly.com and I'll have the links down here. And you're gonna see this uh, really, really nice website. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is go to view the docs. Okay, you're gonna come to here. Um, now you're gonna be able to copy the script here and you're gonna add this to the body tag. Okay, so you're gonna copy that. And then what you're gonna wanna do is head down here to the body tag, paste that script and save. Okay, now this is whenever you're gonna publish later on. Now what we need to do is start building out our form so what we're gonna to wanna to do is add in our form element. So I'm gonna go ahead and add your form block, all right? And let's start styling it. So before we start adding in all of our attributes, we'll go ahead and just start styling our block here. Now I'm gonna name this agency form wrapper. That's not gonna get styled, but just for we can follow client first here. And then we got the agency form. Cool. All right, um, now what we need to do is start adding in our steps. So then I'm gonna to go to agency form step. Okay, and this is gonna be our step right here, all right? And what we wanna do is start to style our very first step. So you have this, all of this stuff in here, boom. All right, so now we have essentially what's our first step. Uh, now we wanna have our, our label here. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my block here and then I'm gonna have my heading style H6. I'm gonna have my heading style uh, H1 here. And just say welcome to. So this is gonna be essentially the intro part here. Um, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and give it a margin. So then we'll go ahead and do margin bottom. And then well, we'll do margin large, just to give it some space. Put that in there, everything else here now is under. So now what I wanna do here is do text size large, okay? <clears throat> so this text size is gonna be essentially like my paragraph that's uh, kind of welcoming people into, uh, into here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, my typing here. Okay, so I'm gonna start off here. Now in my form, uh, we had the checkboxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the checkbox. All right, and then uh, since we are using client first, it does have a checkbox uh, wrapper already. And then we will do form checkbox here. We will do form checkbox label. All right, so now we have everything in here. Uh, we wanna make sure if you did style this, you set that to custom and that will be your custom style. I go that and you'll go checked and then you'll check there, uh, which actually this image is a little off. Um, I'm gonna do this at custom, um, let's do 16, yeah, let's do that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my labels in here. And I wanna go ahead and give this a little bit of a spacing too. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and give a padding block, padding bottom, and then padding medium. And that's just sort of a spacing block, all right? So we can now go ahead and have our checkbox wrapper. Okay, now I do have a spacing of one rim. So I'm start adding these labels in here, all right? And so for now, I can actually just go ahead and get rid of these. They're not really serving any purpose. Um, this is gonna be inside the agency form. Cool, so now we have our one checkbox here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy in my, my first questions here, but uh, here I'm getting into talking about like what the challenges are. Okay, now for reference as well, what's gonna help you is when you go to your settings and then you actually label these. So we will say starting out and then we will go to, see since that checkbox seven, we'll do uh, not proud, um, not enough sales. We're gonna do not enough site traffic. And then you got product. Fusion, launching, and then we got other here. Cool. All right, so now we have our first step here. Now the next thing we wanna do as well is we are looking to have our uh, progress bar in here and we need to get these back buttons, okay? Um, so a 
what I'm going to do is actually inside of the form as well, and I don't think you have to do this in the form, but I'm just going to do it like this, is I do have the agency uh, progress wrapper here, okay? And then, so that's just going to be my wrapper. And then we're going to do agency progress, okay? And again, I've already kind of styled this, put our div on the inside, and then we're going to do agency progress indicator, okay? So this is the tricky part. Now we're gonna to have to have two of these. Um, we have to duplicate this. And so essentially what I did is I made this a flex box, okay? So I can get the two bars in here. Now what we wanna do is have one, have a combo class of current, right? Now current is gonna show where you're at. This one's gonna be just what the extra one needs here. And so we'll start to add our attributes to these as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this up top. And so we're gonna have this here and and then we have our top part. I already gave it my padding, and then on the wrapper, I gave it my uh, margin that I needed, just so it doesn't hit this here. Cool. Now we can go ahead and start duplicating our steps here. We actually don't need to get or hide these. Uh, the script is gonna do that automatically for us. And so now we just wanna start going through our sections. So here I have industry sector, okay? It's next, and then put all this stuff in here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting all of this industries. Okay, so I'm going to put all this stuff together and I'll probably skip through this just so we can have this uh, faster for you. Okay, so I added all of my elements in here. Um, now we're going to move our submit down to the last step just because when it's finished, you want that to be submitted. And I'm just going to style that button um, accordingly. Cool. And then now we have our, we're going to add our attribute data form submit button. Okay, now let's go ahead and start working on the rest of these here. So our progress, uh, we do need to go here and then we need to go ahead and do data form progress because that's gonna be on the progress bar itself. So we're gonna do data form and then progress. All right, and then on the one that is not colored, the one that doesn't have the class of current, we're going to go ahead and add the form of progress indicator. Data form progress and indicator. All right. So now we have progress indicator here. So now those are, that one is set up. Now what we're going to want to do here is we do want to make it to where uh, something is selected, has to be selected in order for it to go next. We'll add that attribute in here as well. So we're going to take our, our form step here. Okay. Well, first of all, we want to add our data form and then we do need to add our steps here. So for each one, you seem to have data form, step, all right? And then we need to have another power up here as well. So for, now you're gonna do data checkbox. Now it says to have N in here. So N really just stands for the number of um, checkboxes you need to have. And so we need to have a minimum of one. Um, so we should put one there, all right? And then that would open up the, the buttons here. And uh, that's it here. So now what I should have done was add this, because now I need to add this to every single step here. So step. Okay, so now we have this. Now our agency form needs to say data elements or form, data form, and then multi-step there. So we have that set up. And then lastly, what we wanna do here is we need to add our next buttons, okay? So let's go ahead and hide all these just so that's nice and clean. And then, so now we add our buttons. So what I did here is just add a wrapper. You don't need to add any, um, any attributes or anything to this, but uh, the next and back, do you need to add data form and then back button and then data form and then next button. Okay. And then you'll add those and those will be able to work us here. Now you want to keep these outside of the steps. So they maintain while you're going through the next steps. And there are a couple of other things you can do as well. Now we've got some power ups and we have like uh, being able to the data enter go next. And so we need to add this to the form element, the data enter and then true. And then we can even do enter to submit, but I'm going to take that off for now. and do it and next enter is true. Now with our script in here and these simple attributes, we should be able to go ahead and publish. So lastly, we do need to fix our success form because you'll just have this, thank you, submission has received. Um, I'm gonna bring in uh, the one I had already put here, nothing too special. So now we have our success form here and all we gotta do now is just head back to our normal form. So we can go ahead and publish this Test out our form here and we should be good to go. Yep, next, test, next, yes. So this is the email, so Bruce at 
Um, next. And then you'll hit submit and it should be submitted. And there you go. Now you have a form. And so that was a quick and easy multi-step form inside of Webflow. Um, a lot easier than some other methods uh, or having to custom code this thing out yourself using JavaScript. I'm gonna leave this clonable inside of the description. So you can go ahead and clone that if you wanna go ahead and just skip all this and go ahead and do it. And if there's something in mind, then you can go ahead and follow the tutorial and start from there. Um, now they do have a logic available and I'm gonna be testing that out. That is a paid feature and I did pay for that. Um, so I'll be making a video on that as well to start to have logic in here. Now this logic is uh, different than Webflow logic. So Webflow logic is actually stuff that's kind of going on in the back, uh, the back end when something is submitted. Um, now this is gonna take you through a multi-step form based on logic, and you can probably even combo this with logic as well. So we can start to create some really unique user experiences and create something really, really nice for the end user. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.